If Ottawa ever gets hit by a really large earthquake, the most vulnerable parts of town are the ones with old brick and stone buildings. Places like the market here where I am now, places like Centertown and Sandy Hill. That's because blocks of rock, blocks of brick, piled on top of each other to make a wall are very strong at holding up weight, but they're very weak when it comes to being shaken side to side, and that's what an earthquake does. That's the way, unfortunately, a lot of the older buildings in central Ottawa are built. Here at the Canadian Museum of Nature, they had the same problem. Old building, pile of stone blocks, soft soil underneath. It's the kind of thing that could shake apart in an earthquake until they came along, did a renovation, and they put these steel beams everywhere. They crisscrossed the entire inside of the building. They call it like a bird cage, bolted onto the old masonry walls. And this will keep it intact, not necessarily damage proof, but it will keep it from falling down on top of people if there is an earthquake.